somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we thought we'd have a little fun and we are taking a look at 1999's <laughs> 10 things i hate about oh, you come on. now uh with these type of movies i was always more of like an american pie uh fan type of guy so i never really saw any of these uh, i guess this one could maybe fall into the same realm of like uh can't hardly wait she's all that like those type of kind of teenage romantic comedies but i think it's gonna be a lot of fun going back and watching them and kind of remembering where we were at 1999 and kind of that same time frame so i'm excited well i was a freshman when i saw this because i did actually see this and i'm definitely ready willing and able for you guys to watch it because one thing i'm gonna say is this guy right here reminds me of, of the dad in 10 things i hate about you you'll see you <laughs> will definitely see but yes and especially look at the cast yeah. there's a very young Hollywood of who's who with Keith, Joseph, Julia Stiles, Julia Stiles, Gordon Levitt. You had a, 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 a good, good, good cast. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, I graduated high school in 1998, so this is uh, this is right in my wheelhouse as far as like being able to relate to what was going on in those times in high school kids. So uh, a lot of good reviews. So I'm hoping this one's going to be fun for yeah. us. All right. One percent. Without further ado, let's go. God, this uh, just screams 90s, 90s doesn't it? Ah, <laughs> the music. <laughs> God, I wonder right. how many hit, like hits are going to be in this from back what's in the day. What's nice too is this is kind of a remix of uh, the good old, mm. good old one week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Stiles was in like every single yeah. one of these movies yeah, back in the she day. She was in all of them. Oh yeah, Elsa and Janie. There's our boy Joseph. There I'll be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> a, a member? <laughs> Nine schools in ten years. Army brat? Yeah, my my dad is. Uh... That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Same the last wipe shit for brains everywhere. <laughs> Am I in the right office? <laughs> not anymore, you're not. I've got deviants to see and a novel to finish. Now scoot. Thanks. There's the man. Should I uh, hit the lights? Oh, very clever, kangaroo boy. <laughs> it says here you exposed yourself in the cafeteria. Jeez. I was joking with the lunch lady. It was a bratwurst. <laughs> bratwurst? Aren't we the optimist? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Next time, keep it in your pouch. Okay. <laughs> keep it in your pouch. Wow. <laughs> I, Whoa. I don't think I could have been more wrong about what this movie was about. Oh, this movie this wouldn't just, uh, just, quite fly in theaters <laughs> today, <laughs> now would it? Because <laughs> huge brought worse. <laughs> oh, jeez. Over there, we've got your basic beautiful people. Hey there. Eat me. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> These are your future MBAs. We're all Ivy League accepted. Close it, Bogey. <laughs> Yesterday, I was their god. There we go. What group is she in? The don't even I think don't about know. it group? The don't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, but see, there's a difference between like and love. Because I like my Skechers, but I love my Prada backpack. But I love my Skechers. That's because you don't have a Prada backpack. Oh. Having known fact that the Stratford sisters aren't allowed to date. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's... Romantic? Hemingway? He was an abusive alcoholic misogynist who squandered half his life hanging around Picasso trying to nail his leftovers. As Whoa. opposed to a bitter self-righteous hag who has no friends? <laughs> Get down, Chachi. <laughs> Chachi. He called him Chachi. What did I miss? The oppressive patriarchal values that dictate our education. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance we could get Kat to take her mind off before she comes to class? Someday you're gonna get bitch slapped, and I'm not gonna do a thing to stop. Chachi. <laughs> I know how difficult uh. it must be for you to overcome all those years of upper middle class suburban oppression. <laughs> <laughs> it must be tough. Yes! <laughs> But the next time you storm the PTA, crusading for better 
lunch meat or whatever it is you white girls complain about. <laughs> Ask them why they can't buy a book written by a black man. That's, That's right, right, mom. <laughs> Don't even get me started on YouTube. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, go to the office. You're pissing me off. <laughs> what? Mr. Morgan. Later. This is epic. <laughs> It's like where Kay and Peel got their whole bit. <laughs> oh, she, she <laughs> undulating with desire moves her red. Go with crimson. Crimson. Sounds better. Crimson. Ah, holy <laughs> shit! I swear on Jesus! I swear on Jesus! I've never seen that. It's just when you're trying to be dramatic. Red versus crimson. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Expressing my opinion is not a terrorist action. Cut. <laughs> People perceive you as somewhat heinous bitch is the term used most often. <laughs> you might want to work on that. <laughs> what is this movie? <laughs> I was so wrong. Looking good, ladies. <laughs> Who's that guy? It's Joey Donner. He's a jerk off. I'm looking at her. Is she always so vapid? Look at the way she, she, she smiles and, 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 and look at her eyes, man. She's, she's totally pure. You know, you're missing what's, what's there. She, my friend, is what we will spend the rest of our lives not having. You, you want to take a shot? Be my guest. She's actually looking for a French tutor. Do, do you speak French? Well, no, but I will. You, uh, sweet young fingers like a rain. Careful on the leather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids today do not know about Casey and JoJo. <laughs> Move head from sphincter, then drive. Yeah, just a minor encounter with the shrew. Stay cool, bro. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> oh, what the shit! Full send! <laughs> my balls are oh. Well, soft landing, sorta. I had a helmet and goggles on, so that's good. There you go. Do the Super Dave. Wow, this opener to this movie is not what I expected at all. It feels like a like it does feel like a little bit of a toned down like American pie. pie. Like yeah. the I, humor is definitely <laughs> like stuff that probably wouldn't fly today, yeah. but not quite as crass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just Hello, yeah. Larry Miller. Make anyone cry today? <laughs> Sadly, no. And where have you been? Nowhere. Hey, what's this? It says Sarah Lawrence. Oh, I got in! <laughs> I got in! But isn't Sarah Lawrence on the other side of the country? Thus, the basis of its appeal. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we decided you were gonna stay here and go to school. You, you dub like me. Okay, so what, you just pick up and leave, is that it? Let's hope so. <laughs> Ask Bianca who drove her home. No, don't get upset, Daddy, but there's this boy. Who's a flaming imbecile. Please. I think he might ask me. Please, I think I know what he's going to ask you. And I think I know the answer. No, it's always no. No dating till you graduate. Number two, no dating till you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, I delivered a set of twins to a 15-year-old girl. Do you know what she said to me? I'm a crack whore who should have made my skeezy boyfriend wear a condom. <laughs> Close. But no. Close. <laughs> I am the only girl in school who's not dating. Your sister doesn't date. And I don't intend to. New rule. Bianca can date when she does. Oh, uh, nice. What if she never dates? <laughs> You'll never date. Oh, I like that. Me. <laughs> and I'll get to sleep at night. The deep slumber of a father whose daughters aren't out being impregnated. <laughs> Picture piece. Can we this quick? Roxanne, Corinne, and Andrew Jarrett are having an incredibly horrendous public breakup on the quad. Well, uh, though there is an alternative. French food. Eat some together uh, <laughs> Saturday night. Oh, Jesus. That was pretty good. Yeah. That's so cute. What's your name again? Cameron. Listen, I know that your dad doesn't let you date, but I thought that if it was for French class that- Oh, wait a minute. Curtis- Cameron. My dad just came up with a new rule. I can date when my sister does. You're kidding. My sister's a particularly hideous breed of loser. She used to be really popular, and then it was like, she got sick of it. Plus, she's a bitch. <laughs> that there are lots of guys who wouldn't mind going out with a difficult woman. <laughs> difficult? <laughs> You think you could find someone that extreme and you do that? 
for me? Hell yes. <laughs> 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 Hell yes. yes! So comes the premise of the movie. In order yep. to go out with her, yep. he's got to right. find somebody to date the sister. Here we go. Here's the finest for her. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Would any of you be interested in dating Katarina Stratford? <laughs> oh, what this is the same <laughs> same four in the background, or they're they're, they're like rotating? <laughs> 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 hey, and what about him? Don't look at him, okay? He's a criminal. He just did a year in San Quentin. <laughs> yeah, well then at least he's horny. <laughs> he's smoking in class. <laughs> he uses the burner to just write the gas right in there. He's our guy. Listen, I... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I mean, uh... We could pay him. Yeah, well, what we need is a backer. Someone with money who's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> a money mark. <laughs> we don't chat. Well, actually, uh, I thought that I'd run an idea by you. Hear me out. Now, you want Bianca, right? She can't go out with you because her sister <laughs> is this insane head case and... Does this conversation have a purpose? What, what I think you need to do... <laughs> oh, my God. I had basically the exact same thing done to me, passed out. <laughs> I heard he ate a live duck once. Everything but the beak and feet. <laughs> What's in it for you? I'm walking down the hall and I say hello to you. You say hello to me. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're cool by association. <laughs> she just knows. <laughs> What are you doing getting him involved? Relax now. Relax. <laughs> He's <laughs> walking around with it on his face. <laughs> I have a dick on my face, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I had some great duck last night. <laughs> you see that girl? Yeah. I want you to go out with her. Yeah, sure, Sparky. I can't take out her sister until Kat starts dating. You see, their dad's whacked out. He's got this this rule where the girls are... It's a touching story. It really is. Would you be willing to make it your problem if I provide generous compensation? How much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? 20 dollars. <laughs> doesn't even get your food on the date. Well, let's think about this. We go to the movies, that's uh, 15 bucks. Now he's got it figured out. Uh, we got popcorn, that's... Uh, 53. <laughs> We're looking at 75 bucks. Take it or leave it, Trailer Park. 50 bucks and we got a deal, Fabio. Great practice, everybody. How you doing? Sweating like a pig, actually, in yourself. Pick up on Friday, then. Oh, right. Friday. Uh-huh. Do you even know my name, Screwboy? No, a lot more than you think. Very doubtful. Ah, oh, interesting. He likes a challenge. Mm hmm. And we <laughs> wait and watch. <laughs> Why don't you try being nice? People wouldn't know what to think. I don't care what people think. You don't always have to be who they want you to be, you know. Where'd you get the pearls? My mom's. So you're just gonna start wearing them now? It's not like she's coming back to claim them. Oh. That sounded like she left type stuff. The mm -hmm. daughter wouldn't say it's not like she's coming back to claim them if she passed away. Right? Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I was in the laundromat. I saw your car. Came over to say hi. You're not afraid of me, are you? Afraid of you? Why would I be afraid of you? Well, I'm not. Well, maybe you're not afraid of me, but I'm sure you've thought about me naked. I want you. I need you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> 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 what is it? Asshole day? Yeah, she don't care. That thing's made out of steel bumpers. Oh. My insurance does not cover PMS. <laughs> <laughs> well, then tell them I had a seizure. <laughs> Aren't you punishing me because mom left? Okay. You think you could leave her out of this? Fine, then stop making my decisions for me. You're 18. You don't know what you want. Mm -hmm. And you won't know what you want till you're 45. And even if you get it, you'll be too old to use it. I want to go to an East Coast school. I want you to trust me to make my own choices, and I want you to stop trying to control my life just because you can't control yours. Oh, ouch. We'll continue this later. Can't wait. When I shell out 50, I expect results. Huh? You don't get any. I don't get any. I just up my price. 100 bucks a date. 
Forget it. Well, forget her sister, then. You better hope you're as smooth as you think you are, Verona. Keeps flashing that Joker smile. <laughs> Let's put a smile on that face. We know what you're trying to do with Cat Stratford. My man Cameron here has a major Jones for Bianca Stratford. What is it with this chick? She have bare flavored nipples? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm in on this for the cash. Donna can plow whoever he wants. Hey, there will be no plowing. <laughs> <laughs> we set this whole thing up so Cameron can get the girl. Cameron, Joey's just a pawn. So you two are going to help me tame the wild beast? Absolutely. Find out what she likes. We're your guys. Bogey Lowenstein is having a party. It's the perfect opportunity. I'll think about it. This is gonna be some party. Oh, so oh future MBAs only. Oh, but that's what I oh, may change it to. Yeah, <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> oh, that's a cool shot. That is. The, that but how many floors is this is school? school. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. It looks like four. Yeah, oh, okay, that's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, it's Seattle. Which one do you like better? <laughs> <laughs> I think I like the white shirt better. Uh, so are you going to Bogey Lombrow's thing on Friday night? Yeah, I might. I'm not going to bother if she won't be there. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, oh, God. What a smooth operator he is. I don't know. All I've ever heard her say is that she died for Jared dating a guy that smokes. No smoking. What else? We, we need to go behind enemy lines here. Class schedule, reading list, date book. Can I see your room? No. <laughs> <laughs> a girl's room is very personal <laughs> as you're in your sister's <laughs> ripping stuff apart he's got a mask on nice <laughs> <Feel thumbs up. laughs> see the guy in the background with the dad's shoes on the air monarchs mm -hmm. nice. <clears throat> 20 years later like he hasn't changed the style <laughs> one bit <laughs> 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 Should you be drinking alcohol when you don't have a liver? All right, uh, first thing, Kat hates smokers. And, um, and here's another problem. Bianca said that Kat likes pretty guys. <laughs> Are you telling me I'm not a pretty guy? <laughs> very pretty. Yeah, I, this is a gorgeous I, I just wasn't sure. I, I didn't know. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so I'm supposed to buy her some noodles and a book and sit around listening to chicks who can't play their instruments, right? Have you ever been to Club Skunk? <laughs> I can't be seen at Club Skunk, all right? A lot of 90s fashion going on. Oh, my God, yeah. Guys, if you know who that is, sing in there, drop a comment. If you're planning on asking me out again, you might as well just get it over. Do you mind? You're kind of ruining this for me. You know, these guys with no bikini kill on the raincoats, they're not bad. Oh, those are two of the CDs. Leaves her hanging. I was watching you out there before. I've never seen you look so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Oh, there's there her, uh, her smile. Her, 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 her little like, smile that she always has, too. <laughs> Should have used the window. <laughs> well, if you must know, a small study group of friends. Otherwise known as an orgy. <laughs> People expect me to be there. That's not going, you're not going. What's a Bogey Lowenstein? Bogey's party is just a lame excuse for all the idiots at our school to drink beer and rub up against each other in hopes of distracting themselves from the pathetic emptiness of their meaningless consumer-driven lives. <laughs> Heard that one before. <laughs> Come on, Kat, please do this for me. Fine, I'll make an appearance. It's starting. It's just a party, Daddy. <laughs> Every time you even think about kissing a boy, belly. I want you to picture wearing this under your halter top. You are so completely unbalanced. We're going now. All right, wait a minute. What are you doing here? 9.30, right? Whatever, I'm driving. You knocked up your sister. <laughs> oh, the house is going to get trashed. We know that oh, already. Oh, my God, look at that. Now remember, guys, don't touch anything. <laughs> Oh. oh, there was Nigel with the breeze yeah. in the front. <laughs> he was first. Wait, was that? Did your hairline just recede? Your sister here? 
Stay away from my sister. Oh. I pretty sure I had that exact same khaki suit <laughs> that I wore with a black shirt. <laughs> I have pictures. Oh god. Hey cat. Look who found me. Bianca, the wait. atomic dog. Please do not dress me in public. Look, I am busy enjoying my adolescence, so scamper off and do the same. But my what is this? Right on, sister. I'm getting trashed, man. Isn't that what you're supposed to do at a party? I don't know. I say do what you want to do. Later. <laughs> <laughs> My lady. <laughs> oh, hey, Cameron. Um, you know Chastity? We have art together, right? Neat. You really look amazing. <laughs> and we all know I look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll see you around, okay? Swing and a miss. Oh, oh. Tail as old as time. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's heartbroken. You see what I did there? That was underwear. I'll show you the bathing suit one again. <laughs> uh, maybe Joseph Gordon Levitt's not looking so bad. Oh. Huh? Oh. Why don't you let me have this one, huh? No, this one's mine. How did you get her to do it? Do what? Act like a human. Oh, oh baby! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, every, of course she's dancing. Every single house party, played and everybody's this song. like, "What the hell?" <laughs> the, the uptight girls up popping it on the table. <laughs> I mean, it's Biggie hypnotized, right? You're not gonna it, not. How dance. can you not dance? <laughs> Ooh, oh, big finish. Hey, we need to talk. Cameron, I'm a little busy right now. Can you give me a second? It's off, okay? The whole thing's off. What are you talking about? She never wanted me. She wanted Joey the whole time. Uh, Cameron, you do you like that? the girl? Yeah. Yeah, and is she worth all this trouble? Well, I thought she was, but you know, I... Well, she is or she isn't. Joey is not half the man you are. Secondly, don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. Go for it. Oh. 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 All you need is a little self-confidence. This is so patronizing. Oh, I'll leave it to you to use big words and you smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? I told you, you may have a concussion. Let me sit down for a while. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so why'd you let him get to you? I hate him. <laughs> Your eyes have a little green in them. Ah, it's like cheesy, but oh, man. Oh, <laughs> It's hard to watch like Heath Ledger in this a little bit, right? It is. It's sad. It's like, man, what Fuck. could have been? Yeah, this is rough, dude. Bunch of us are going to Jerry's. Ready? Um, uh, I have to be home in 20 minutes. Oh, man, I can't. Damn. You want to go? <laughs> sure. At Chastity? Hey, we passed. There he is. There he is, swooping in. Hey. Come on. Have fun tonight. Whoa, whoa. Bro, you're not going to be salty. Hey, yeah. hey. It's how you got his name right. Give me a ride home. Oh, is he going to be up waiting? He's got, he's got to be up waiting. Got to be. The dad's going to blame him for her being drunk, too. The only thing people know about me is that I'm scary. I'm not pitting myself. What's up with your dad? Is he, is he a pain in the ass? No, he just wants me to be somebody that I'm not. No offense or anything. I mean, I know everyone digs your sister, but um, she's without... That must be a reference to some poem or something. Oh, oh, oh. Is she going to pass out? Maybe we should do this another time. What oh, a perfect gentleman. What a gentleman. Because she's yeah. been drinking. But now she's pissed. <laughs> no, he's doing the he's doing the right thing no, here. That I was, agree with that you, was, but she's I, right, pissed. She's yeah. pissed, but that was the 1,000% right move on his end. Sandwich. You never wanted to go sailing with me, did you? Okay, no, not Actually, well, then that's all you had to say. Have you always been this selfish? Oh, oh whoa, easy. She doesn't owe you shit, dude. Just relax. Oh, oh, yes. You know, just because you're beautiful, that doesn't mean that you can treat people like they don't matter. I really liked you. I, I defended you when people called you conceited. I learned French for you, and, and then you just blow me off so that you. Oh, hey. huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this was one of their first, like, like a, Is this, like, the one time it worked being a sensitive 90s guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at this a big smile. She's into him. In faith, I do not love thee with mine eyes. For then thee a thousand errors note. 
But tis my heart that loves what they despise. Who in despite of viewers, please the dope. I want you all to write your own version of this sonnet. Yes, miss, I have an opinion about everything. Do you want this in iambic pentameter? You're not gonna fight me on this? No, I think it's a really good assignment. You just mess with me, aren't you? No, I'm really looking forward to writing it. Get out of my class. <laughs> <laughs> What's that collar for? Is that to keep him from licking his stitches? <laughs> <laughs> Who could refrain that had a heart to love? It's Macbeth, right? Right. God damn it. Oh. Oh. I totally forgot about that one. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do anything. She would have been too drunk to remember. Oh. But the plan was working. What do you care? Oh. I thought you wanted out. Oh. Yeah, well, I did, but uh, that was until she kissed me. Where? In the car. <laughs> Where? In the car. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> butts. My stomach hurts. I got the scoop. What she said. Hates him with the fire of a thousand suns. That's a direct quote. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even near the goal. Do you really want to get all dressed up so some for Car Noir wearing Dexter with a bar? Sure, Car. 90s classic. Oh, right, all oh, right, we won't go. It's not like I've got a dress anyway. Ah, oh, your archery class. I we didn't have this. Hey there, Cupid. <laughs> oh, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? I hit the gym teacher in the ass. Ow! <laughs> Only one person checks out on <laughs> Here, this should take care of the flowers, the limo, the tux, everything. Do you know nice. what? I'm sick of playing your little game. You sick of, let's say, 300? Early call, he needs the money yeah, for he, something, yeah. like, good. Yeah, like, folks are sick or something, maybe. Or he's going to buy her a gift. Yeah. yeah cause like it, that it, guitar. Yeah, because if she finds out he's been dating her for the money, it's going to go really bad. Even though he hasn't been. He likes her now. Oh, letting her cool off. Oh, bro. Fuck, man. I've, uh, Heath Ledger, your shit. I know it sucks. Fuck. It really sucks. You're not as mean as you think you are. You know that? You're not as badass as you think you are. Ooh, someone still has her panties in a twist. Don't for one minute think that you had any effect whatsoever on my panties. <laughs> she found it in the book. You're right. She's still pissed. Sacrifice yourself on the altar of dignity and even the score. Don't say shit like that, Danny. People can hear you. What's going on here? What's he arranging? Oh, is he one of the oh. audiovisual guys? You're just too good to be true. I wanna hold you so oh, much. Oh, what a move. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Baby, <laughs> 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 Oh, here comes it's the security. security. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got away! Go, go, go! go. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> He's the one that got shot. This guy. I love this guy. <laughs> you look pretty nervous. Your eyes are all bloodshot. Yes, sir. You've got pot, don't you? I'm confiscating this. <laughs> this too. God, I loved him in Empty Nest. Mr. Chapin, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Your bicep is huge. Oh my god, the other one's even bigger. <laughs> you don't take steroids, do you? Because I've heard that steroids can severely disintegrate your 
package. I mean, <laughs> not that I'm thinking about your package. That's not the point. I devised a plan that will enable us to finally <sighs> defeat them. Misdirection. I taught you that? Think about it. Um, <laughs> there's anything left, and we're running right. How do we get them to look left? Like this. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, just flash teacher in attention. Mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough for helping me sneak out of detention. So how did you keep him distracted? I dazzled him with my wits. <laughs> <laughs> Does that thing on that body of water make you guys nervous? <laughs> A little. Uh, <laughs> it is Seattle. Why should I live up to other people's expectations instead of my own? Disappointed from the start, and then uh, you covered, right? Then you screwed up. How? Oh. You never disappointed me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good stuff. Yeah, that's a good yeah stuff. see, they're not the only ones yeah, over. See? Some paddle oh, boats. Like those paddle boats on a body of water that big. Well, Oak can attest that's fun going paintballing. Oh, here comes oh, a this montage. This looks like paintballing like you, balloons. You throw it. This looks like even more fun. <laughs> Oh, look okay. <laughs> Tell he zings it right into it. Are we going to get a dumb and dumber? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> they... Ah. You knew he had to get one more. We're rubbing it in. See, that's way better than what happened to the oh, car. He went First in. kiss. Thousand times better. I was... He went in pretty hard with the tongue on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they're high school kids. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're young. Wow, first one, I wasn't expecting it. That's all. No, none of that stuff is true. State trooper. Fallacy. Bobby Ridgeway's balls. Fact. But he deserved oh. it. He tried to grope me in the lunch line. Fair enough. I uh, lived in Australia until I was 10. Where were you last year? I know the porn career is a lie. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something true. Something no one else knows. Okay. You're sweet. You are amazingly self-assured. Has anyone ever told you that? I tell myself that every day, actually. Go to the prom with me. No. No. Why not? Because I don't want to. Because it's a stupid tradition. Come on, people won't expect you to go. Why are you pushing this? What's in it for you? Oh. Nothing. There is nothing in it for me. Just the pleasure of your company. I had a bad feeling. Quand me demanderai tu te sortir avec toi? Hey. It's over here wasting time. Oh, milady. <laughs> milady. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> oh, fair one. Join me at the prom. I'm Love waiting. William S. Now, as you know, it's the prom. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the windows break. <laughs> Cat has a date? No. If your sister's not going, you're not going. End of story. Cat, not interested. Me, dying to go. And you are not going out and getting jiggy with some boy. I don't care how dope his ride is. <laughs> I know you hate having to sit at home because I'm not Susie High School, but I'm a firm believer in doing something for your own reasons and not someone else's. You know, I'm the only sophomore that got asked to go to the prom, and I can't go because you don't feel like it. Joey never told you that we went out, did he? In ninth for a month. But you hate Joey. Now I do. So what happened? <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. Just once, right after Mom left. Everyone was doing it, so I did it. Afterwards, I told him I didn't want to anymore because I wasn't ready. And he got pissed and he dumped me. After that, I swore I would never do anything just because everyone else was doing it. And I haven't since. How is it possible that I did not know about this? I warned him that if he told anyone, the cheerleading squad would find out how tiny his dick is. <laughs> then why did you help Daddy hold me hostage? It's not like I'm stupid enough to repeat your mistakes. Oh. I guess I thought I was protecting you. By not letting me experience anything for myself? Not all experiences are good, Bianca. Ouch. Bye, Dad. I'm going to the prom. Funny, sweetie. What's that? A prom dress. Look at him. Full tux. Wow. Stop. Remember how you said I could date if Kat dated? Well, she found this guy who's actually kind of perfect for her, which is actually kind of perfect for me because Cameron asked me to go to the prom and I really, really, really want to go. And since Kat won, I guess I'm allowed to based on the aforementioned rule and its previous stipulations, of course. I know every cop in town, bucko. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> 
God, I love Mary, Larry Miller. <laughs> oh, this is where they're going to... F- oh, I got a bad feeling about uh, yeah, this. Yeah, uh, Joey's going to spill the beans on it. Where'd you get a tux at the last minute? Oh, just something I had, you know, lying around. Where'd you get the dress? Oh, just something I had, you know, lying around. Oh, God. Oh, everything's going so well. Oh, God. Oh, it's like you know a car crash is coming and you just can't stop it. Like a blue steel. He's <laughs> just a smart <laughs> smile. Oh, no. And he's going to be pissed about it. I'm Joey. I'm here to pick up Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is where it's all going to fall apart. Yep. This guy. A lady. (laughs) (laughs) He said it. (laughs) He's gotten us twice now. (laughs) (laughs) Told you guys. MVP. Oh, Joey's gonna show up and ruin things ruin any minute everything. now. Oh, I know you didn't think you were the only sophomore at the prom. Joey just picked me up. He's all yours. Very generous, princess. <laughs> and just so you know, Joey only left you for one reason. He even had a bet going with his friends. He's gonna nail oh, you tonight. No. Uh, oh, no. Milwaukee! What? That's where it was last year. Wisconsin! All right! What's Bianca doing here with that cheese dip? I didn't pay you to take out cats if it's someone. Oh! God! Nothing in it for you, huh? Oh. The shit hath hit it the fan. (laughs) If. If. (laughs) If. Now you're gonna pay <laughs> you and that little bitch. All right, that's enough, okay? You cross the line. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, get up, you little punk. Oh, 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 oh she got oh. it. Right in the beak. That's for my sister. Oh. oh. And that's for me. Are you okay? It's kind of like a reverse back to, the future. Yeah. back to the future. Back to the future. Just flip Switched around. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. They're all just dancing. He's laying on the floor. Would you give me a chance, sister? You were paid to take me out by the one person I truly hate. I didn't care about the money, okay? I cared, I cared about you. You are so not who I thought you were. Well, the push yeah. away. Oh, yeah. yeah, that wasn't going to work. I always love that in movies when they do the kiss, like it's like an Hail Mary attempt that it's going to fix oh, sometimes everything. Sometimes it works. <laughs> it's, it's, sometimes it works. Oh, bro, you got to go fix this shit. You got to go chase her. Go, go, go. Make it work. I am way too invested in this movie. Bro, go. <laughs> oh, he waited. No. Nope. Oh, the night passed. They're gonna, okay. They're going to blow it off a couple of days here, maybe. I don't know if I ever thanked you for going last night, but it really meant a lot to me. I'm glad. You ready? I hope so. Well, he was kind of in on it too, though. I mean, she's meeting some bikers full of sperm. Funny. So tell me about this dance. Was it hopping? Parts of it. Which parts? The part where Bianca beat the hell out of some guy. You know, fathers don't like to admit it when their daughters are capable of running their own lives. It means we've become spectators. When you go to Sarah Lawrence, I won't even be able to watch the game. When I go? Don't tell me you changed your mind. I already sent him a check. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the pager. Yeah. Oh. Let me tell you kids about Pager. Oh. Chef. Move the glasses. <laughs> Chef. Anyone brave enough to read theirs aloud? Oh, is my guy gonna is my guy gonna come in and do it? Lord, here we go. What's popular oh. isn't always right. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate it when you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse when you make me cry. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you didn't call. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. One take. She did that in one take. And she wasn't supposed to cry. 
Oh, he... Good call! On the guitar! Yeah, I thought you could use it, you know, when you start your band. Besides, I had some extra cash, you know. <laughs> some asshole paid me to take out this really great girl. But I screwed up, I am. Um, I fell for her. It's not every day you find a girl who'll flash someone to get you out of detention. <laughs> <laughs> You can't just buy me a guitar every time you screw up, you know. But then, you know, there's always drums and bass and maybe even one day a tambourine. <laughs> ah, what a, what a line. Oh, the oh. nice crane shot. Yeah, so sad. Yeah. Back when you used to, yeah. have, you used to have <laughs> shoot it with a helicopter. <laughs> or, yeah. or a crane, yeah. You didn't have no <laughs> drones. God, that's a hell of a high school. Yeah. Okay, where, where are they got high school? It's like what? Hogwarts. <laughs> it's Hogwarts. <laughs> Well, look at that. I got, got the a, band on the roof. <laughs> now, here's the heli yeah, helicopter yeah, this is shot the helicopter right here. Shot. That is the finish, huh? All right. All right, guys. There was 10 things I hate about you. And when I was coming into this, I thought it was going to be like a fun romantic comedy. And, and it sort of was, but they really kind of upped the raunchiness there in the beginning, I think, to kind of grab your attention and, and get you into it. And just a, a lot of fun, a throwback, I think, for us, kind of reminding us of, of our time in, in high school or college or whatever it might be. So this was a lot of fun. Um like most of these movies, right? Uh, a bit over the top with, with some of the things. You had a high school that looked like Hogwarts. They, oh, they seem to have live you can't bands just popping them. up everywhere. <laughs> For prom. You know, but band. I will say being that, uh, you know, Seattle was kind of a big music scene back then. So maybe, you know, there was some bands to find. I mean, you can walk around Nashville and find anybody to come play your prom, I'm sure. But, you know, a little bit over the top, but, you know, they were all like that. It was a lot of fun. Um a real kind of tight story with a with really a limited cast, you know, like American Pie and some of the other uh, movies of this time had a, had a lot bigger cast of characters that were a little bit more involved. I mean, here we basically had, you know, uh, four or five real core characters. So made for an interesting story. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more. Uh, time with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character and Bianca, maybe a little bit more with them, but uh, you know the main story was of mm. course Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles, and um, I really haven't seen Julia Stiles, and I I think I might have seen one of the Borns that she's in, but I know I didn't see all of those. I think she might be in there. And then, of course, we all know the uh, from Bill Burr having the bit about, oh, there's some movie, you know, Julia Stiles will show up, teach him English, be dancing or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, But, again, a, a lot of fun with a really good cast and just a ton of jokes. The Will Shakespeare wearing the collar so he doesn't look his stitches God. just about took us down guys I, that almost ended the recording right there i thought we were gonna have to i thought i, was, I thought that. i might have to hit pause there for a second yeah, so we could start laughing our the ass ass start off. The timer here I'm run off my clock but you know it, it but it was bittersweet i know we kind of hit on a little bit you know that Keith Ledger's no longer with us because, I mean, gosh, what a talent. I mean, obviously known, you know, for, for playing the Joker and Batman and, and a handful of other roles, but you know, I'd never seen him in this one. And this was a really kind of a cool character for him. And, and it was fun to see him as just like a regular guy and not seeing him as the Joker. It kind of reminds you of who he was. And that was a lot of fun and, and just, just great to see him again. You know, it was, um, always fun when you get to see uh actors that have have passed on you get to see them in other work so that was a lot of fun but overall you know it was a movie that it had a, a kind of a similar storyline i'm not gonna say a similar storyline but it had a vibe right where like a uh, guy meets the girl who's either nerdy or standoffish or whatever and you know maybe somebody puts him up to it like uh, what was it can't buy me love maybe had kind of a similar theme going on a little Ish bit in a few regards yeah, yeah so right. but you know you knew it was like like i said to oak it's like we're watching a car crash and we just can't stop it because you know it's going to go down at prom it's and it's going to be bad but things were able to work out it wasn't quite the fireworks that i thought but it was good to see uh joey got his with a <laughs> shot right square in the nose those are no fun your eyes start watering and it's lights out but this one was a lot of fun guys and if nothing else the sentimental value that it had of uh bringing us all back to high school was a lot of fun with the fashions and of course the music and everything so this was great good time glad i watched it four and a quarter out of five answers for me 
10 Things I Hate About You surprised me. Uh, I, I don't remember if this one was recommended or not, but if it was, you guys are doing a great job. And if not, uh, big shout out to Diamond Dave, I guess. Yeah. This, I mean, I had seen it before. I thought it was funny the first time I saw it. Thought it was funny the second. Thought it was funny this time. Of course. I freaking loved it. And then I knew that you guys would enjoy all the humor in this. I The one particular scene I couldn't wait for is when they went into the bar to see Ledger and... Uh, my MVP of the movie, David Crumbles, just grabs the eight ball, just grabs it, looks at him, yeah, tosses it back. It's the guy's one thing. He doesn't fight him, nothing. The other guy just grabs the money and walks off. The reason, and my wife and I watched that like five times because I saw it and I started laughing like a hyena. She's like, What are you laughing at? And I'm like, Did you see what he did? No. <laughs> we, yeah, they did a lot oh of fun God. stuff in the background. The, the arrow to the ass yeah, of the guy yeah. from Empty Nest, who is the pilot yep. that did uh, one of their commercials, but. Obviously, Heath Ledger was awesome in this. It was his real accent. That's how he actually spoke. So it was a lot of fun seeing him in this. And like the group of young actors was really cool to see. You could tell that they had a lot of chemistry together, which I if, I guess on IMDb, they did have a lot of that camaraderie, camaraderie on set, which, as you can see, it seeped in right into the movie. And so it makes it funnier, makes it look like they probably were taking more chances with everything and just... It was just a fun, but obviously David Crumholtz, who played Michael, was my MVP. He just <laughs> had great. so many good one-liners, and obviously the so Shakespeare doesn't lick his stitches. It was still oh. just like, look at it, it's getting us <laughs> laughing like children again. And this is like the ninth time we've said it. So for me, because I've seen it before and loved it, I had to give it a four, seven, five out of five answers. Right. I really love it. This has got to be one of the most unexpected... <laughs> fun rides i've ever 100%. taken in in our time doing these movies look i expected it to be kind of fun um you look at the cast you're like okay it's it's a pretty good cast there's not a you know a de niro or a denzel washington yeah. in it it's not that type of movie but i mean i mean the, the it's straight out of the gate with a completely inappropriate school counselor <laughs> yeah. I, I swear i swear i have never seen this before so the crimson thing is just like you know red doesn't sound right the crimson always you know crimson tide the, the, the scarlet letter you know i mean cr crimson scarlet whatever so that was funny that that i kind of predicted that it was um for me it was a really fun like story about high school love and look there's some people who don't let their daughters date so it wasn't you know sometimes we see high school movies just like crazy whatever but look that's the rule for some people we had of course the uh the the, the popular kid who was the jerk with the car and the model which <laughs> like look every high school kind of had one of those kids or somebody relatable i mean it can be kind of cliche but at the same time you know i mean they went a little overboard with it but it was done in a fun manner you had the nervous kid who wanted to ask out the popular girl, you know, who just, you know, it was a little, you know, a little too much of a nice guy to get the girl and blah, blah, blah. You had the, the bad boy in high it's school and, and the girl who didn't date. I mean, and, and to be honest with you, like if, if somebody, you know, is a little younger. So this is 99. I graduated high school in 1998. So this is, you know, she's they're both seniors in this. So it's a freshman. very relatable. And in, in, in as far as like my time period and, and some of the things that might seem cliche for this sort of like time period movie, like honestly, it didn't it didn't feel like that. It no. felt like they had their characters like you see in other kinds of movies. But it was a lot of fun. I expected it to be kind of like, you know, I don't know, maybe like American Pie, like Love Story. Like we talked when we were doing the intro, like yeah. that kind of genre. And it was, it was, it, I guess in some regards like that, but unique in a lot of other ways. Um, I'm not sure how many of my moments uh, will make the cut where, you, you know, every once in a while you just, I just caught myself like, like, damn, like this dude's gone. You know, what a talent. And he was gone. And look, and we've lost a you know, you lose the actors to, you know, to age and other things like that. And, um, you know, when he passed, you know, some people, oh, he did this or he did that. And it's like, you can't really ever um, pretend to know what what somebody at that age, you know, how, how they handle fame and, and the mm -hmm. money and, and, and things like that. And so it was just really sad. And so for as much as I enjoyed the movie, I think, you know, I'm not sure, like I said, how many will make the cut, but I think we all at some point, you know, you just... 
you just realize that they're not with you anymore and they're close to your age i mean this is a guy that you know i'm I mean, i'm 43 i don't i guess i don't feel that old you know like when i was 20 and you look at somebody who's 43 you're like old and now guys and i'm here i don't I, I don't feel old so it's you know? there was sad but i mean the, the um <clears throat> i'm gonna try not to piss off answer here or too many people uh watching this movie we recently uh, watched the movie Pride and Prejudice, you know, and I was kind of like, eh, I didn't love the, I, the, like this to me, like this is what I think a, like a really, and so I don't, I know people are going to blast me. Like, like, wait a minute. So Oak is saying Pride and Prejudice, which answer in your defense, I, I was Googling like the top, like love movies of all time. And Pride and Prejudice was like number four of all time. <laughs> um, so, so there's a lot of people that just, but like, I, lo I loved it. Right. I just, I really, really love this movie, and I'm probably shooting way too high on the score yeah. here, but it hit like so. all, it hit all the notes for me. It had the sentiment. Look, the, the, the well, Heath what's Ledger. What's the rule, right? What would you improve? What would I improve? And I'm like, I try, like, if I have to nitpick, like one thing that wasn't a thing in the '90s. So, so one thing that we talk about today um, is a nice guy complex, and 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 essentially what that is is like nice. some guys today will they they'll like they'll do like all the the nice guy things that a nice guy should and just because they're the nice guy they expect like a woman should have to go out with them well like you know and i got a little tiny bit of that vibe when they were in the car where he's like i did this and mm -hmm. i did this and i did that and it's like okay you can do all those things for a woman but that doesn't mean she has to go out with you she has to like you so but again so if i have to nitpick that would be the thing it's like the nice guy complex of today where if a woman's not interested in a guy and he'll be like you know because that's like th that happens right now right you get guys who maybe aren't so so lucky in dating and they'll be like oh the girls only date assholes and they never like the nice guys well you know sometimes the guys who are the nice guys they they do things that are you know outwardly nice because that's what they think is going to get them the girl yeah. so it's not always like i'm being the nice guy for the sake of that's who i am versus like these are the things i think i have to do like to get motive. the girl to go out with yeah. me so and but that was look that was a little bit and again um for the for anybody who's watching it now who hasn't seen it before or maybe people who are a little bit younger whether you're late teens or, or, or 20s or even your early 30s that wasn't really a thing that we we talked about in the 90s at all no. so when they made this movie it was you know it was done with i, I guess pure in, intentions um you know my notes i, I liked um you know Heath Ledger just telling him um don't let people make you feel like you don't deserve what you want like go after the things you want mm -hmm. that was the other thing like the I little, remember a little get in there speech uh, yeah, that he gave get to in him. There was, speech. Like, I remember I remember being in high school and you know um you know if you have crushes on girls and sometimes it's so hard to build up the courage to ask them out and in college and I think part of that like that never really goes away for guys. Like I think, I, or, or girls too. Like you know, I think that that there's always nerves about asking somebody out that you like, and that was a great piece of advice. I liked the teacher sign on the back wall that they yep. they kind of showed on purpose and kind of not about doing the right thing isn't always easy, and doing the or doing the easy thing isn't always right, or you know what I'm getting at. Doing the right thing isn't always easy. I thought that was great, but uh, this movie altogether, I just love the the kids showing up and the girl not being there. And uh, I'm gonna try to make this story quick. Summer of 19. Start your timers. Just no, no, no. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna give you the condensed version. <laughs> I graduated high school in '98, summer of '98. Summer of '97, I'm at a party, right? Go upstairs with this girl, nice girl. I didn't have any romantic intentions we literally sat in a room we were looking at the yearbook i don't know what happened that we're in a room together right but there's a bunch of people downstairs we come downstairs everybody's like look and i'm like oh, oh no they all no, 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 no. <laughs> fast forward to february a girl that i went on a few dates with but it was kind of whatever asked me to go to like their winter ball right and so we're all planning to go to the winter ball everything's all set you know in, in the 90s i don't know if they still do the corsages i get the corsage right it's february 1998 she calls me last minute, so I can't make it. Can't make the dance. I, I have to work, you know? And I'm like, you know, you get canceled last minute. It's pretty devastating, but she couldn't get off of work. I'm like, whatever. Now, she was from Freedom High School. So a high school close to us, but, like, it's got, you know, some of the people live, like, 20 minutes away. So I said, okay. So I was just hanging out with my buddy. I had the corsage, and I drove out to this girl's house, right? 
drove out to her house. Dad comes out, meets me in the driveway. I get out, you know, I'm not in my suit or anything. He's like, can I help you? And I said, hey, you know, I was um, Angela's date for tonight's dance. Um, I know she couldn't make because of work. She was pretty upset. And, you know, I have uh, I have this corsage and, you know, I guess there's not really much she can do with it um, when she gets home. But I figured I would drop it off. And the dad's like staring at me. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, what happened? And he's like, uh, he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, you know, David. And he shakes my hand, and he, you know, he had some nice words. He goes, uh, Angela left for the dance about a half hour ago with some of her friends. And he's like, I'm telling you that because I think it's important for me to be honest with you. And uh, he's like, I think it's a really shitty thing that my daughter did to you tonight, and I'm sorry. So I go home. I'm like, I had a pager. My mom's blowing up my yeah. pager, right? So I go home. Dad must have gone to the dance, scolded her out, oh. told her, my mom's blowing up my pager because she called me and Ooh, said David pager. didn't pick her up for the dance. It was a big mess. Well, it turns out, and I'm not blaming her, it turns out this party in the summer, girl I was upstairs with, when Angela told people that we were going to the dance together, she made up some story about what happened. Angela cancels on me. Ah. And the whole thing. So when he showed up to the dance and she was already gone, I was oh. like, like flashbacks of PTSD. showing up. Show, but it was the it was the opposite. The yeah. dad was like, "Well, she went to the dance. Yeah. I've been in that spot." <laughs> Drop a comment below if you've ever showed up to pick up your date and uh, she was already gone. But so a little little bit of PTSD, yeah. uh, fun story. I thought I would share with you guys. Uh, we're all yeah. we're all friends. Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's interesting with like the uh, this genre of movies, and maybe some of you guys out there can comment on it. But I feel like you know I've got brothers who are like in their fifties, and for them it was stuff like you know Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, that sort of stuff. Like that was theirs. You almost feel like this crop of movies was the like next generation. The American Pies, the Can Hardly Wait, the things I yeah. hate about you. Like that was kind of this one and uh man i don't know like what is it today like i don't like i don't know just watching i don't like, know stuff on netflix and, and, my, whatever, and mind you and mind you no cell phones so you couldn't just yeah. call somebody if you are questioning a couple how, of them had pagers if you're asking how a pager worked so you had to call somebody from a landline your pager went off and it showed you what number they were calling yep. you from like it was basically like a hey call me and then you had to nine one one after yeah, yeah, nine one one if it was an emergency yeah. then you had to go to a phone so let's say somebody was at their house and you were out and your pager went off you could go to a pay phone or go to somebody's house and call them but no cell phones yeah. but anyhow uh, I very relatable showing up to the house and the, zach and the girl yeah. yeah unless you were zach morris all the girl always being gone but for me this movie I, I really think it hit everything like i said uh the time frame for me hit home of course the dad you know a really good guy the story Larry. um God, I, I, AKA Mason. I, if you I, can't improve it, you know what I, it has I, to be. I got to be honest, guys. Like, uh -oh. well, like what? Ten things I hate about it's. It's the only thing I can do. Are you gonna give it a ten? <laughs> it's the, a ten things. For the, ten for a ten things I hate about you. <laughs> there, five times two. It's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the only thing I can Who do. I, I got to be hey, honest. You enjoyed I, it. You don't I got to be honest. You know? I, I loved it. I absolutely loved this movie from start to finish this was a great film one i didn't even see when it came out because oh, i was like eh, where's my victory you know? stogie for yeah. knowing you oh, both would God. enjoy this movie I again i love this movie and i could have I miscategorized it more oh, i have i am gonna have abs when i go home from how hard <laughs> i and it was, like i don't know it wasn't it wasn't like the greatest joke it was it just, Joe Watson, I don't like it just dude it, it, oh, i told you it's dying. david it's him and his delivery it's just was perfect God, i was oh. dying i mean I, after we're done recording i'm gonna rewind it we're gonna watch that part again i love this good. movie i absolutely love and i really movie. liked the uh the bond that the sisters ended up having at yes. the end that mm -hmm. was really cool they started off hating each other like all sisters do uh if any of you guys out there have uh sisters obviously if you have daughters if you're two sisters i would love to hear your stories to uh reassure myself that that's actually how it is <laughs> but uh, it was great to see them come together at the end that was really really good stuff god talk about a great movie and I knew they would love it. God, puff, puff. Just a little bit of a victory cigar. So for Abledon Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.